Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Choi is three years his senior. He is two inches taller. The reach is identical. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. It's his first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, one loss. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Arnold Almighty! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi. All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Ooh, what a punch. Big knee there to the chest. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And a miss with the right hook. Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. Let me see that hook now. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice right hand, John. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Head off the 
Center line slips the punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big punch lands over the south. How's he gonna follow this one? Huge shot there! Oh, big left hook there! Oh! Pretty good right hand. Can't take many of those, better check. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Nice straight punch. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Head kick. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Nice. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, big head kick. Punch lands over the top. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Throwing that jab, no good. That one appears to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Unable to connect with the right hook. Big kick land. Throws the right hand there. Swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Straight punch lands. Oh, connects with the one-two. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Keep doing it. Doing it. Just out of range with that left hook. Right on the button. Big kick land. Another punch to the head. Nice body shot there. Five minutes in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he could see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well-versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defense. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Wow, huge head kick. That one is going to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Great punch.
Real quick leg kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Nice kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice loop and punch. Three minutes now to go in this one. Big leg kick lands. Oh, nice. A hook to the body here, but strong defense by the Korean Super Bowl. Man. Oh, So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. You got him. These gentlemen are putting it on the line. Ooh, big shot, man. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Straight left, but that's a miss. Nice body. Went for the inside leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good punch. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Seconds here. And he connects there, DC. Great job, man. Right, that and that's the end of round number two. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, no. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Set it up. Oh, straight. 
straight right. Oh. And he landed the right hand there. Slips the shot. Strike to the body, pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. <laughs> Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, he might be out. with the jet. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Three minutes to go in the round. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on his eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Nice punch lands over the top. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, slips and rips. He's got the body on a swivel tonight. He's able to slip the left there. Whoa! News hurts. Serve him up. Go get him. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, eight seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Arnold Almighty Allen. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000